When I say booger, you say it's sticky. What's this for? It's for, this for? it's for Jeff's cute little it's show. It's for his lame show. <laughs> it's for Jeff's cute little so on TV show. show. Is that what this is for? Jerks. Yeah, we're... All right, we're on. This is Greg Archer. We're here on uh, this momentous day, May 15th, 2008, with John Laird. And John, can you give us your thoughts and your feelings about how you feel about what happened today in the, in the courts? It's really exciting and it's really emotional. And just on a political level, when you think that it was against the law to be gay in every state just 30 or 40 years ago, and the first domestic partners' rights weren't even established till the 1990s. It's just an incredible progression that a state of 38 million people will legalize marriage equality between people. That's an exciting thing, and I didn't understand how it hit me emotionally. Uh, it just never occurred to me. I, I'm in my 50s, and I have to list single uh, whenever I sign a form, even though I'm not. Uh, and now, you know, I might have the option uh, to do what everybody else that is uh, straight has had the right to do. Uh, for generations. So tell me how you're feeling today with this great news. Well, I'm uh, first of all so excited, but but off and on all day I just go back and forth between I thought this was never going to happen and why did it take so long, you know? And I did think it was going to go this way when I when they said the decision came down, I really thought it was going to go the other way. So it's just unbelievable. Every time I start to talk about it, I start to cry. Rick James on this very momentous day in history, May 15, 2008. Tell us your thoughts about what happened today. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. I'm Like I said, I'm a 50-year-old gay man. I have as much chance of meeting Mr. Wright and getting married as like winning the lotto and getting hit by lightning at the same time. But you're kind of cute. I would uh, marry you. Can you tell us where you were when you first heard today? about the news. I was on the floor of the assembly and we were in session and an Associated Press reporter called me to the back of the chambers and said, do you want to comment on the decision? And I said to him, well, what was it? And he told me and I was, uh, it's funny because the speaker's press secretary uh, was there and I performed the domestic partnership ceremony for he and his partner earlier in the year after they had a religious ceremony in San Francisco. And he was reading it on his Blackberry, and he was so choked up, he had to hand it to somebody to read. And so it was that powerful immediately. And uh, word just swept across the floor, and uh, people were excited. I was a judge this year for the Queer Youth Awards, and I've been able to do that a couple times. It's just the best event of the year. It's fabulous. But there was a young woman here who was one of the winners. And I thought, wow, imagine being in high school and having this day happen, it's, it's going to be a different life for her, you know, exactly. than for people my age and even your age. My name's Rick James. If you'd like a date, uh, you can get a hold of me through this TV show, and uh, I'm not as lame as my friends here that I hang out with, so I just want to share that. Uh, the only thing that can overturn this is a ballot measure in November. There's no federal court review. This was the last stop in the state system. It's only if the people vote on a constitutional amendment <clears throat> that it can be overturned. And so, and also in Massachusetts, once the court decision happened, people didn't support uh, marriage equality, but once people started getting married, it changed public opinion, and it was much harder to take away a right that existed. So I think there's two things. I think one, People should adhere to the law and the decision and get married if they're in long-term relationships. And secondly, we need to organize and be ready to overturn this and defeat this ballot measure in November if it qualifies. Because if it does, then it's done. It's all over. This is a right that will just go on for generations forward and one that after a while people wonder why it was ever an issue. The more we all just talk about it and enjoy it, and, and we're going to have now several months for the world to see that things are actually okay even if you thought this was sort of scary in some way it's really all right and and people kind of calm down and I think by November we'll have enough momentum going that uh, it, this is just gonna sail through and are there wedding bells in your future um, uh, there's somebody that I'm gonna have a conversation with tonight <laughs> Anytime you want to take me to dinner to discuss our future together, I am very open to that. Just make sure it's a very five-star restaurant. Yeah, and this and is a beautiful box with a certain shade of blue from a certain Tiffany's just for you. Seriously? To match those eyes. Huh. Going to the chapel and we're gonna get married. Do you really love you and we're gonna get married? Going 
to the chapel of love. Don't use it. Don't use it. This is where we sign off. This is Greg Archer, So at TV. It's Greg Archer, So at TV. Bye.